OMG. Who's coming to the silver party? Let's see who's here. Let's see who's gonna come. Taking a nice sip of my sugarcane Coca-Cola. They are not sponsoring this video. You guys, I've uh, just filmed a updated full stack video, so I wanna do a stream with you guys. We got Big Bank, Little Bank, Chase Miller. Chase Miller's saying first. We got an armor man. You guys, oh, look at this. I just filmed my updated first stack video. We got Hunter here. So that will be posted in the near future. But look at this thing. Fred Gar in the house, Peter Z. Uh, we're going to let a few more people join. You guys, I thought since I had all my silver out and people always ask me and they always want to see more, um, I thought that I'd do kind of a, you know, a quick interactive live stream with you guys and let you ask to see things up close and check things out. We got Kindle Kid, we got Sherry. Yes, guys, look at this. Look at this full stack. Robert. <laughs> If you guys look, no, I'm not selling. I'm only collecting. Look at this little one I got here, guys. Look at that, a little Illuminati silver. Hidden on the 100 ounce. Let's just put the shot on these bars for a second. We got Tessa, Laner, Sherry, Corey. Glenn in the house. Corey W. in the house. What's up, Kindle Kid? What is up, guys? My full stack. Seeing our treasures, Plata Pioneer. Woo! Josh, I'm not really trying to show off. I'm just trying to share my adventure with you guys. So you guys can see what I did and learn from my triumphs and mistakes. Sucker for silver. JT Man in the house. J Mart in the house. Chevy Moore in the house. Narmer Man, Sherry Nelson, Silver Saver. So you guys, what do you want to see? First, let me give you guys the stats. This right here is 3,914 ounces of silver and 2.47 ounces, troy ounces of gold. This weighs 268 pounds. So this table is sturdy. This is 268 American pounds, not British pounds. Um, yeah, my average cost is $18.81. This right here, you're looking at, guys, is $73,664 of silver and $2,983 of gold. And I'm not rich by any means, but I'm single. Milled still in the house, what's up? And I'm a contractor in a very dangerous area, Saudi Arabia. So I'm living like no one else now, so I can live like no one else later. Steve Rice in the house. All right, guys, what do you want to see? Scottsdale bars. Okay, the first request is the Scottsdale bars. So, guys, this is the Scottsdale bars. Um, these are 20 ounce Scottsdale, like large Kit Kats. They're huge. A um, bunch of these little 10 ounce loaves. We got the 100 grammers. We got poured silver. These are really rare, guys. These go for like 270. If you can find these under 200, they're instant flip alert. So if you find those, and if you find them, let me know. Um, I am wearing, I don't know, Debbie, am I wearing pants? Oh. <laughs> um, we got some five ounce buttons here. We got the stackers there. Let me get a glove. This, this, these were one of the coolest things I bought from Scottsdale at first. So you can see they stack. That's a two ounce or five ounce in the bottom. These are all one ounce. And they're like concave. So they stack. Um, that right there, these are all Scottsdale bars, like a uh, hundred and something ounces. But they're the same thing. They're called stackers, so they're concave. And in earthquake prone areas, it's perfect. All right, what else do you guys want to see? What else you guys want to see? Who else we got joining? HD Shovel. I saw Debbie because I saw your comment, Mealed Steel. Logan's Coins in the house. Okay, it looks like we got a, re a request for some of the junk silver, also known as 90%. Also known as 
uh, constitutional silver, guys. So let me give you a quick shot of these. And I saw the request for the biggest bar. I'll show you the biggest bar soon. So you guys, I'm going to show you what they look like. This is a peace dollar. Um, these are Morgan silver dollars. Okay. These are what walking liberties look like. And these are all 90% silver. These are what Benjamin Franklin's look like. Let's go this way for a second. These are what seated. Um, most have dates, some don't. This is what the seated, um, what are these, seated liberties? That's what those look like. Those are pretty rare. Here's some Colombian half dollars. Pretty rare. 1892. Coming over here, Mercury Dimes. This is actually my favorite design. And if you remember, the Palladium Proof Coin was that design. Got some Kennedy half dollars. A bunch of Roosevelt Dimes, which in two videos now, I've called them Eisenhower Dimes. I don't even know why. Uh, here's some Barber Halves. That's what those look like. Um, this quarters down there, just regular quarters. These are a ton of Barber Dimes that I got a crazy deal on. Some are very good shape, some aren't. A bunch of Standing Liberty quarters, a bunch of Barber quarters. So Standing Liberty looks like this. And Barber quarters look like this. So guys, that's all a really rough quick over my constitutional. Um, that's roughly $1,300 face, $1,300 face. It's about 967 ounces of silver. We might go over this in the back soon. That's my, um, the lost hoard, the lost maple leaf hoard. And then guys, these are just a bunch of Buffalo nickels and V nickels. I got a crazy deal on that I'm planning to flip. But the next request I saw was for my biggest bar. So we'll move these kilo bars out of the way. And if you guys remember this kilo bar, Al Etihad Gold, Dubai, I got this in the gold souk in Dubai. And this is the same bar that got confiscated from me in airport security. I got it back. It is now home safe in America. But these are my biggest bars. This is a Johnson. Hey, Julian Bullion, I was just chatting with you in email. Welcome, my friend. This is Johnson Matthew. We got two of the 100 ounce poured bars. And you guys, I'm all about the deals. I got one of these bars at spot price. At spot price during a um, sale for a Black Friday. And I got the other one like 29 cents over spot. This is my most dangerous bar. It's Pyramet, 100, bar, 100 ounce, but super sharp. If I dropped it on my foot, it'd be guaranteed hospital. Guaranteed. All right, let's see who else is joining. Let's see who else is joining here. Julian, Chris in the house. Haha, -ha, your mom, Silver Bugle. Silver Bugle, I saw your unboxing video. I'm glad you got it. Milled Steel, Josh, Corey. I don't know how to say your thing. Jamur, Jamur Butler. Uh, some with dates. All right, guys, what do you guys want to see next? This is the interactive full stack video, and you're looking at 268 pounds of gold and silver, which is 3,914 ounces of silver and 2.47 ounces of gold. Oh, you want to see the gold and some Perth Mint? Let's zoom in. I got some Egyptian. That's Egyptian there. I'll show you that in a second. So guys, first off, this is not gold. But this is a Ga one I won from Silver Baggins. It's a really toned American Silver Eagle. These two are not pure gold, but I got a gold-plated Morgan, and I found a gold-plated Kennedy coin roll hunting, so I thought that was pretty cool. These all here are gold, and some of it's 24K, some of it's 22. Let me just show you some of this. So we got stuff like the Philharmonic, uh, we got stuff like this uh, tin gilder, uh, Perth Mint. I got Libertad's. I'll show you that next. Perth Mint. Uh, what is that? Kangaroo. Here's a Sovereign. Oh, Yankee. Yankee, I'm sorry I missed your stream earlier. I totally meant to come, but I got sidetracked with the stack, and then I checked. I'm like, I missed it. 
This American Gold Eagle. Um, this is a 20 francs. Um, just Canadian. Oh, this is a Middle Eastern coin. You guys, this is eight grams of gold. I got this as a gift from a prince. Most epic gift ever. And this is just a copy of Sovereign. Then we got some bars. And if you remember this stream, I bought this in the Dubai airport, if you remember that. Somebody asked, and you guys, I don't have a Saudi guinea, but I do have some Saudi reals. I'll show you those. I'm taking your live request, guys. This is interactive with the full stack. So here's my Saudi Arabian silver. Actually, very good shape. I bought these in the Jeddah gold souk. So if you go watch that video, you can see me purchase those. Someone asked for British silver. So like these are half crown, wait, yeah, half crowns. Um, we got two shillings. We got full crowns. And actually Backyard Bullion gave me this one, guys. And if you watch my British video, LCS, you could actually see me buying a lot of this. These are some two shillings. Somebody asked for Libertads. So that is a tube of newer Libertads, almost a tube. I need, I think, eight more. This is 10th ounce Libertads. And I just picked this up not long ago. The video's coming out. But this is mint sealed, guys, 1985 unzas. I got this for 380 bucks, which is a crazy deal. I'm gonna to try to get more. And this is what the Unzas look like outside of that pack. And these are actually the old Libertads. And then that's what they look like today. And then someone asked about Egyptian silver. Let me show you some of this Egyptian silver. If you watch my Egyptian streams, you can see me buying this. Look at that. Isn't that epic? There's that. It is Egyptian silver, confirmed. Look at that little hand on the altar. What the heck is that? And that's a V-nickel. I don't know how that got in there. That's funny. And this is like Finnish. Let me, let me put this V-nickel to the side. That's funny. What next, guys? What do you guys want to see next? I've got all the MK bars. I got Silver Slacker. Perth Mint. Let's take a trip to the Perth Mint. So before I knocked this over, these are all stacks of 10. So these are all koalas. Let me try to get, I got glare. So these are all koalas, koalas. Um, and you guys, I got all these different year koalas buying the random. Up when spot was around 18, I was buying the random deals in Atmex. I got a ton of random koalas, random kooks. And you guys look, I got 391 kooks on that random deal. So it's not, it's not a scam. They actually give you good deals. So here's all kinds of kooks. Um, here's a tube of the two ounce koala with the baby. Uh, here's some birds of paradise. Yeah, they are classics philosopher bees, I agree. I got five of the bottlenose dolphins, guys. I had a feeling about those, so I took a shot in the dark on those. Uh, and then I only have a few, I only have a few of the um, Zodiacs. I'm not really into those that much. And then we got a two pair of the um, dragon coin bars. I'm into coin bars a lot. We also got the Scottsdale Silver um, Neue Island coin bars. What else you guys want to see? What else do you guys want to see? Silver Future in the house. What's up, my friend? I did not order any nuggets, no. Yeah, the dolphins were a little mintage. After I bought them, I saw what they were doing. I'm like, dang it, I should have got more. You guys know what I really should have got more of? I got three of the Ghana leopards, but I, had, I got the error, 100 CDs. And I didn't even know I had the error, guys, but on my unboxing video, someone told me. So I flipped one of them already, but I got two more. Uh, here's some old Johnson Matthew bar. So for those people that like the vintage, here's an old Englehard. Pretty sick. Here's an old Geiger. Silver Nuggets. I never even looked at Silver Nuggets. 
Uh, here's a bunch of various Sovereign from like various islands. Got the Czech Lions. These are gonna be a flip, I'm sitting on those. Uh, these are the re-strike of the trade dollars. These are gonna be a flip. So you guys, although I do buy some high premium stuff, a lot of it is to flip and grow my stack for free naturally. My whole approach is to make my stack grow itself. Here it is from the back. Woo! So let's go around here. Let's show you guys some of this poured silver. My favorite piece in this entire stack, I don't know. These are just a bunch of ASE guys, ASEs. This is a uh, Germania un uh, sealed mint too. That's gonna be a mega flip, if you guys remember that video. Let's see. You do buy or do buy? I do buy in Dubai. Silver Future saying you might need some gold. I know, you guys. So this is a very sturdy wood table, look at that. It currently has 268 pounds of gold and silver on it. Do you guys think it could hold 500 pounds? What do you guys think? Or you think I'm like risking it? Okay, let me tell you guys about, thanks Yankee, let me tell you guys about my goal. My goal, oh, the enabler. What's up, man? Can't recall the name. Interesting. Oh, a spot stack on the house. Okay, guys, so my goal for 2019 um, is to get to 10 ounces of gold. So I have pretty much two and a half. So that's, what, seven and a half more to go. And then my goal for silver, I'm at 3,914, is to get to 5,000. Now, guys, those goals are not going to be easy for me, but goals are supposed to be hard. And I'm not rich by any means, but I'm single. I live overseas, I do an extremely dangerous job, so I get a lot of hazard pay, and all my bills are covered over there by my employer. So it puts me in the position to where I can stack hard now, guys, because once I come back and I find Mrs. International Stacker, and if you guys are ever in a stream and you see a future Mrs. International Stacker, you have to hit nines, that's the rule, you have to hit nines. Um, I'm not gonna be able to stack like this, guys, so I'm trying to stack now as hard as I can to prepare for the future. I do not have any platinum, no. Throw a couple checks on there in the silver and gold and find out if we'll hold 500 pounds. That's funny. <laughs> what else you guys want to see? Yankee sees nines. Palladium's been going nuts. Yankee, you can just hit one nine, you can hit a hundred nines. It just depends. I really do like poured silver. Silver Slacker got me into it. So here's some really cool pieces. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of poured silver. It's the Guy Fox mask or the Anonymous mask. It's by MK Bars to announce. Look at that thing. How many ounces are the Long Scott still? These right here are 20 ounces, 20 ounce Kit Kats. And it kind of, you know, it goes from the tip of my finger to the middle of my hand. Look what I got here, guys. Do, 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 do. The camera won't focus on it, it knows. The camera won't, oh my gosh. Illuminati silver. It's colon crossbones. Viking, I do not have any NK bars Viking. I was looking at those, those are pretty sick. I do have this, which is like a Celtic design, so that's as close as I got to the Viking. I do have the shield, but this is more of an English shield than a Viking shield. What are you gonna see doing Irish dance? Oh, Illuminati Silver. You know, I used to listen to it sometimes because I like different viewpoints, but it seems like the guy's like always complaining on there. I'm not big in the negativity. Okay, what did AA Armory ask? Yankee said it was interesting. Let's see what he asked. Oh. Pfft. What do I regret buying? You know, I don't regret buying any of this. So far, I've done really good. I've been really blessed. Okay, how much? 90%. 
Uh, that's all 90%. And that is, um, I think, well, I can tell you exactly how much that is because I just filmed a video. Let me put the camera here and I'll tell you. Let me just check the database, you guys, because I track every single purchase I do. So that's $1,308 face. $1,308 face. And if you times that point by 0.715, that is something like how many? 935 ounces of silver. Something like that. Stacking kit in the house, welcome. Brian in the house, welcome. And you guys look, I got a ton of buffalo nickels, a ton of V-nickels. I'm gonna do something special with these. And a bunch of Indian head uh, pennies. I just got a crazy deal on these. So I'm gonna flip these. Yeah, don't forget to gently smash that like button. Lifetime precious metals, thank you, my friend. The Farkas in the house, Robin Stabili. St Stabili? Dime Digger. Dime Digger, I just wrote a, uh, I just wrote a letter for Dime Digger. Dime Digger's getting something in the mail he's been working on. Here it is, guys. For those of you just joining, that's, um, let me get back to the right page here. For those of you just joining, this is my current full stack. And it is uh, 3,914 ounces of silver, 2.47 ounces of gold. Average cost per ounce is $18.81. Not bad when I started stacking like up near 20s. And the average spot price for gold is $12.03. Silver watcher in the house, looking for my reflection. Look, silver future, this is very important. You guys, for this stuff, I'm not really paying high premiums. Most of my peace dollars, I got for around $15 a pop. Most of my Morgans, I got for $15.50 to $16 a pop. And they're not coal. They're in great shape. A lot of my silver and gold guys, I contain my emotions. I wait until I see a crazy deal and I exploit it. I go after it full bore. I mean, look at the shape of these. I'm talking like most of these, I got... For 15 bucks a pop, $16 a pop. So if you guys want something and you just wait on it and stay focused and search for deals and do eBay bucks and all this stuff, you can get the things you want for great prices. Silver watch has got to get dressed for work. It's funny. Hey, Bull Silver Man. If I put one more ounce of silver on there, it's going to go. Yeah, you guys, you got to remember when you're silver and gold stacking, at least this is what I do, it's for the long term. So you have time to be patient. You have time to be patient. My longest silver bar, probably the 100 ounce, because those are longer than Scott's still. Yeah. So I got a couple of these 100 ounce Johnson Matthews. Here's another example, guys. This Johnson Matthew 100 ounce bar I wanted so bad. I watched it for over a year. Guess how much I got this bar for? I got it for spot price. I got it Black Friday deal, spot price. The second Johnson Matthew, I, cause I, once I got the first one, I'm like, he freaking needs a brother for sure. I got this one 29 cents over spot. If you go look on eBay anywhere right now, you're not gonna get a Johnson Matthew for 29 cents over spot, let alone spot price. So that's crazy. If you guys watched the recent British stream, this is the Beard & Co. Um, there's going to be a video on that soon. Trigo de Silver in the house. Yeah, well, yeah, you guys, you guys, I think this table can handle a few hundred more pounds. What would make your stack go from long-term to short-term? Silver bugle ass. Well, guys, some of us are stacking for different reasons. Some of us think it's going to shoot the moon. Some of us think SHTF. Some, some of us just for retirement. I stack for retirement and it automatically covers me for SHTF and all these other scenarios. Now, if silver shot the moon, I would definitely sell a ton of my silver. Probably I'd sell mostly that stuff there. 
I would convert it into gold, playing the gold to silver ratio. If that wasn't a good move, but they were running crazy, I would convert it to the fiat currency and turn it into some other depressed uh, commodity or depressed uh, like a property. So if the market was going crazy, crashing, people were trying to get out, prices of gold and silver were inflating and people were losing property and banks were selling it pennies on the dollar, I might sell a bunch of this and go buy a bunch of property. More millionaires are made in times of economic downturn than during good times. So having items like gold, silver, cash, whatever, puts you in the position to capitalize. If that never happens until I die, I will keep this for retirement. Hopefully if I play my game right, I don't have to tap into this for retirement and then I can pass this on to my kids. You know what I mean? That's my approach. Yeah, Carmen in the house. Thanks, enabler. Enabler, this took forever. I got like sick to my stomach. I was like bending over. Well, I should say hunched over. You guys are gonna rip me up on that one. JT, man. Oh, I wanted to see the pandas. All right, let me show you the guys how the pandas, for those of you who have not bought pandas, um, like from the mint, or from a bullion dealer that sends you these, they actually come in these from the mint. These are trays, so if you buy a monster box, it's a bunch of these. And how they open, because I never knew this until I got it, I was like, ah. Oh. They just open like this, beep, 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 beep. And then when you open it, they, um, okay, anyways, it opens like that. I'm not trying to have to redo all this. They're all in mint capsules inside of this tray, so it's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Robin's saying 1964 quarters. Ah, oh, you want to see a BU? Let's see if I can find you a, a BU. Bam! 1962 pretty BU. Trying not to show my face in this thing. It's pretty good. Hey, Dime Digger, is it okay to show your address on camera, your P.O. box, or is it not? Tell me if it is, Dime Digger. Surfuge, sure, petition, bring back the something, Graham. Jamar. Screw 30 grams. Oh, he wants one ounce. All right, you guys. He said, it's all right, I just wrote this. This is going to Dime Digger. This is my P.O. box, it's in the description. If you guys ever wanna send me channel mail, I'll open it on the channel. This is going to Dime Digger, it's something special he's been working on. And uh, he was in my live stream the other day where we went through, what, $1,500 phase or $1,200 phase or something crazy. Anyways, we found some years he's needing and some of them were in great shape. Who knows about the lost maple leaf hoard? This was discovered in the Arizona desert um, by a uh, metal detector. Silver turtle in the house. Thank you. Joe in the house. Coin king. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome dime digger. Thank you, my friend. Let me give you guys a different perspective on this stack. Do -do -do. Look at this. Let me do like a side perspective. Yeah, that was Jurassic Park. You know, with 10 ounce bars, guys, we got all kinds of stuff here. We got like Johnson Matthew, just some Providence stuff, RCM, Bell, Silvertown, another Silver. Town, Prospector, that's Provident, Elemental, they want to have a business, right? Sunshine, you know, someone's trying to tell me, Sunshine Mint's all fake. I'm like, uh, are you aware that Sunshine Mint actually produces all the planchets for the American Silver Eagles for the U.S. Mint? It's kind of funny. It does, it does, it puts a smile on my face. 
Um, once I'm over my back pain and hernia. Slow Stacker in the house. What's up, my friend? Slow Stacker actually helped and found most of those coins I'm sending Dime Digger. So thank you, Slow Stacker, for doing that. You guys, this is interactive. Whatever you guys want to see, let me know. That is over 268 American pounds of gold and silver. Ah, oh, I had my two kilos over here I forgot about. This is the kilo Alatihad gold. This is the one that got taken by airport security in Riyadh or Saudi Arabia. And this one's a Asahi. And this company actually took over Johnson Matthey. Don't you love when you just find two kilos you forgot about? It took hours to set up. It, it took hours. Enabler saying got a 10 ounce Britannia silver bar. Enabler, I've been meaning to get those. I just have not gone around to it. It's a second favorite. Okay, I gotta get some of those. What's up, Ben Franco G? Wow, Brian got stolen all silver. Sorry to hear that, Brian. You guys, that's why it's important to be secretive. I tell nobody about this. And I also stack lead. So if anyone found out, they would be in a um, hurt. We got Spot Stacker. We got Velasquez. We got EVJ Hobbies. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. LJ in the house. Smokey, I'll give you guys a side perspective here. If you guys want to see anything, let me know and I'll show you. Let me know and I'll show you if you want to see anything. Just put it in the comments. Quiet on the set, please. Quiet on the set. Move around this way. Let me know what you guys want to see. What do you guys want to see? Zoom in on the gold, huh? There she blows. There's the gold. Also, while we're down there, I picked up some of these goose dollars. Spot price. Hello. Who out there got some of Uncle Sal's new round? Look at the cats. I got a Fertitude, Uncle Sal. This one was like old school channel rounds. Biggest piece is gonna be one of these 100 ounce bars. I got three 100 ounce bars. Smallest piece is gonna be this one gram Illuminati. Yeah, I'm super happy with these salivate and metal rounds, guys. And they came in a great, nice black rimmed uh, capsule. Chris Dwayne stack. Coin in the purple holder. Ah, these are Fiji iguanas and Surti locks. These are Scott, minted by Scottsdale Silver. For those of you who don't know, Scottsdale Silver mints a ton, mints a ton of um, sovereign coins. Uh, someone just asked how much this is. This is 3,914 ounces of silver, 2.47 ounces of gold. That's 268 American pounds of gold and silver. What's the biggest hunky chunk? I don't know. It might be this one, guys. Who recognizes this? There's only two of these in the world, and someone in the chat right here has one of them on the way to him right now in the mill. Oh, man. Woo! Custom International Stack Around by Backyard Bullion. Okay, they want me to pick up the stackable bars. No problem, I'm gonna put my gloves on because these are pristine. Ugh. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is 60 ounces right here. Scott Still Stackers. And then here's another 
two, three, four, 50. So that's 110 ounces Scottsdale stackers. Oh, this button. Yeah, that's Scottsdale silver button. Is that what you're talking about? Pretty sweet little five ouncer. And you guys, these are stacker rounds. That's like four ounces. These are one ounce. And the stacker rounds by Scottsdale are actually concave and stack on top of each other. Super sick. I saw silver. I saw silver slacker with them, and I just had to get them. Silver slacker, very um, old school pillar of the community. If you guys don't know them, check them out. Yes, Julian Bullion won. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact. Coming soon. Coming soon. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? Yes. You guys. I haven't shipped it. I'm shipping in the morning because, guys, I'm headed to the airport in the morning. This is the last time these will ever be together. This is mine I'm keeping, 5.2, and I actually just gave this away in my Mega Gaw, guys. 5.26 ounces, only two in the world, and it went to Julian Bullion. He won it in the Mega Gaw. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. Or maybe they should be like... <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, Backyard Bullion. This is the Assay Marks, 999. It was assayed in the Edinburgh Assay Office, which has been assaying gold and silver coins for kings and queens for 500 years, and it was done this year. So, this one's mine. This one's Julian Bullion's. Congratulations, my friend. How many ASEs do I have? I will show you. So, we come over here. If you guys remember, I completed my Monster Box Challenge so this is 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 60. So we got here about 560 or 80 ounces. So I'm start, I'm, I'm like between two and three tubes into my new Monster Box Challenge, I believe. This is pretty cool here, guys. This is a piece of eight silver. This was from a certified shipwreck. Julian, did you see the two? <laughs> did you see the two rounds, Kiss? <laughs> he might have missed it. You might have been AFK. Uh, these are Spanish. This was found in a pirate hoard in Barbosa Island, I think, 1799. This is also found in the same hoard. And then we got here, guys, some silver denarius from various times in the Roman Empire. This is really cool to teach people about monetary history and how when you have Real money, which is made out of gold and silver, and you start to base in it and switch to copper and brass and other things, what happens to your empire? And unfortunately, the United States is making a lot of the same mistakes. This here I got for free by watching Salivate Middle's live stream, and I placed a $100 order, and I got this Garisopa uh, quarter ounce a silver for free. It's from the Garisopa or Gerisopa, I don't know how to say it, Shipwreck. This is Shipwreck Silver. The British government brought up and reminted, so that's cool. Somebody wanted to know how many um, Morgans are here? Um, I can tell you exactly how many Morgans are there. One second. That is going to be um, $157 face. $157 face of Morgans. So obviously that's 157 but check this out, guys. I got one gold-plated. How epic is that? Same price. Super sick. And when I was coin roll hunting this last trip home, I got a gold-plated uh, Kennedy. Oh, and someone stamped that. I didn't even notice. Someone stamped that. What does it say? Someone stamped that in 1985, so they must have gold-plated it in 1985. That's great. We got waivers. We got Mitch. We 
got all kinds of people, random videos in here, Coin King 19. Did you plant it a piece dollar? Like, <laughs> so it would grow into a tree? Uh, you guys, I fly in the morning. I fly in the morning back to Saudi Arabia. Wish me luck. At the airport, I'm going to have to eat as much bacon as I can. It is illegal. There's the lost maple leaf hoard. I got a video on that. I gave away a couple of those in the mega go. I do not have any half dimes, no, but I have a bunch of barber dimes. I believe this is a $110 face barber dimes. Thank you, everybody. If you guys could gently smash that like button, it helps my video to train to get out to more people so you all can come on my journey. Uh, I work in emergency, like management, counterterrorism type stuff, FEMA type stuff, stuff like that. Robert in the house. Silver Chickadee in the house. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, this is $1,368 face, I believe. So about 970 ounces, 967 ounces of silver, something like this. Del Rugby. Al Pal. Welcome, everyone. Julian, I was back in the day I was an EMT. Back, back, back in the beginning of my career. Back, back, back. Willie, I kind of just answered that, but it's like emergency management, disaster stuff, counterterrorism type stuff. Coin rule searcher in the house. Steve Rice was an EMT too. So customs, that's a good question. Um, and it wasn't customs more than security, sports stacker. Security took this and they're acting like they weren't gonna give it to me. I was about to miss the plane. Last minute I got it back, I had to run on the plane. That video was uploaded and so I didn't have time to update people. And people went for like 16 hours not knowing I got it back, but I got it back, thank God. If you guys check my channel maybe 50, 20 videos ago, you can see it. It's a very quick shot because I don't want to get caught, but you can see it sitting on security. Super funny. Ah, oh, nice silver load. It's a great field to be in. Emergency management can take you around the world. You know, I'm not a big numismatic collector, so not really. Uh, these coins, there's a lot of semi-numismatic, but nothing really I'd say that's numismatic. I'm not really into that. I'm more on the weight. Thought I worked in a soft unit or something. Hmm. My oldest silver bar? Well, the oldest silver would be probably that piece of eight I showed you guys. Oh no, it'd be the silver denarius from Rome. But probably this. It's my oldest bar. Johnson Methy. Doesn't have a date, but that's really old. Also, this Engelhardt is fairly old. Any tips on investing? You're 13 and have a pretty, pretty small budget, $200. Okay, Coin King, what I'll tell you is if you're 13 and you're thinking about investing already, you're ahead of the game, okay? It's not about stacking a million ounces right now. It's about consistency. You gotta be consistent. So whether you're stacking one ounce of silver a month, um, which could be 20 bucks, or you're going to the local coin shop every couple months and buying a few dollars face, whatever you could do now is great. The biggest mistake I see with people buying a ton of gold and silver is they wanna do it super quick they get it in over their head and then they end up selling their stack and losing money. You guys, if you buy silver and gold and sell it immediately, unless you're doing like a flip on the, see, I flip all the time and that's how you can grow your stack. But if you have to sell very quick, you're not going to make money. You're probably going to lose a little bit of money. So the whole goal is to stack slowly, be consistent 
and do it in a way to where you would never have to touch it. That's the goal. So whether that's one ounce a month, one ounce every six months, or 10,000 ounces a month, whatever kind of stacker you are, um, that's what I, what I live by. Yeah, slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, Coin King, you're doing a good job for 13, my friend. And Coin King, you can stack for free two ways. The first way is there's all kinds of gauze, which is G-A-W, which means giveaway on YouTube. So if I was you, I'd search G-A-W every day on YouTube. I'd enter as many of those gauze as you can. You could probably win 10, 15, 20 ounces over a year doing that. The second is if you can get into coin roll hunting, um, that's very little budget. You just buy the coins, you remove any silver if you find it, and you cash it back in. That's two very low budget ways for you to stack when you're on a limited budget. So that's what I recommend as well. Took 2,500 cash, also 400 ounces of silver. Interesting enabler. Hey, Al Pal, let's find if only two ounces are bullion. There's no rules. Stack how you stack, my friend. Sweet Egyptian stuff, sure. So first I'll show you the Egyptian stuff from Monarch Precious Metals. So I mean, it's Egyptian, that's Horus, and this is all the jackal, mummification god, and all this stuff. So that's like, you know, Egyptian style, but let me show you some real Egyptian uh, silver. And if you guys watched it at the time, or if you go back and you watch uh, my live streams and videos from Egypt, you will see me actually buy this. So this, I guess, is equal to their constitutional silver, although they don't call it that because they don't have a constitution. Well, it's not in their constitution. This is all silver from Egypt. How cool is that, guys? Imagine growing up on that on your money. If you guys don't know, I do live streams all over the world buying silver, particular to that country, so it's a lot of fun. Make sure you check it out. Rocket in the house. Mitch Lovett in the house. You guys are gonna go for about we're gonna go for about five more minutes, then I've gotta pack up. I gotta be at the airport early in the morning. Think of any questions if you have them. For those of you just joining, please gently smash that like button. It helps my videos, helps me out, helps me get my journey out to more people. This is 268 pounds of gold and silver, which is 3,914 ounces of silver and 2.47 ounces of gold. My average cost per ounce is $18.81 for silver and $1,203 for gold. Mitch, I can pack this pretty quick. As a matter of fact, let me show you guys, because one of the biggest things I hear, guys, is how do you store all this? It takes up so much space. It's actually really not that bad. So let me show you with the poor silver while we kind of wind down here. This is RCM Monster Box uh, for 10 ounce bars. You can get them on eBay for like 10, 15 bucks. I learned about these from Silver uh, Slacker. They lock in place, they can stack. But these hold just enough silver to where you can lift it and not die. Okay, so while we're going here, I'm going to show you guys kind of how um, all this poured silver is going to fit in here. So let me just push this up like so. So let me put this here and I'm going to try to answer your questions while we're doing this. So first things first, guys, you got to load this like a puzzle. So you're putting in all the big stuff first. So I'm not putting the kilos or the 100 ounces in here. Um, so we're going to start with the Scottsdale Silver. It's a bit like a puzzle. So you got to find stuff that's going to fit in these corners. Hey, you, you, uh, you, pure, you might be right, you might be wrong, but at least it's going to preserve your wealth, and if it does something else, you'll be prepared, right? That's kind of where my mind is on that. 
Okay. So see, you gotta find these little pieces. You're gonna stack in here. This is a pretty long piece of silver. It's a backyard bullion piece. Look at that, board silver. See, these little Atlantis mints are great for plugging holes. Because you want to fill the holes so it's not like clanking around when you carry it. Um, someone's asking how much this is. This is 3,914 ounces of silver, 2.47 ounces of gold, and that is 268 pounds of gold and silver. Is that crazy? I can't believe I got to that, guys, honestly. It was a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice, that's for sure. Hey, Junior in the house, welcome. Oh, but my goal, see, they probably said 5,000 because my goal is 5,000 ounces this year, guys. My goal is to hit 5,000 ounces of silver and 10 ounces of gold. Look at this. This is Asgard silver, only one I ever found, super rare. These, if you ever see Asgard silver for a decent price, evidently it's super rare and people want it. I got all kinds of messages from people wanting to buy that thing, so... That was just a buy I did, and it ended up being a super good one. So you guys see? All this poured silver is fitting in here. Bubba's coin saying insane. We got rocket fuel. And yeah, I just want to take this time. You know, I kind of thanked you guys during my Mega God, but you guys make stacking and my ventures fun. Before this channel, I used to do all my adventures and I didn't share them with anyone. I just did. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But like no one knew and I was like, eh. So actually getting to share it with you guys. One gives me kind of a cool video diary for later in life and my kids and stuff can watch it. Um, but two, it makes it way more fun for me. Way more fun. And who knows, maybe you guys will help me find Mrs. International Stacker. You guys look, this box is only halfway full. This is gonna fit pretty much all the poured silver. Isn't that crazy? Look at this piece, guys. This is by the bear. No, yeah, there's no gob goblin tonight. That's 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 hilarious. You guys, the Gaw Goblin had such a fun time. <laughs> that was super funny. Some Pharaoh heads putting in here. Okay, guys, we almost have all the poured silver done. You guys, this is Mindo Mint. You can check him out if you search Mindo Mint on YouTube. He's a new pourer, so I supported him and picked up some of his pieces. I'm really happy with him. Heavy duty Velcro, told the box closed on a handle, as a handle. Interesting, I never thought of that. Very interesting. <laughs> you guys, we're almost done with all the poured silver. So the poured silver is the easiest to put away because you can handle it. You're not worried about it like for the most part scratching or anything. So it's actually really, easy per se to put away the poured silver so guys in this one box by the time i'm done i think if this is one box is holding like 600 ounces in one monster box so that just goes to show you the whole wives till of uh silver's too big to store we'll just get one box and stop at one box Don't you guys think? That is literally all that poured silver is now in here. Let me just get a plastic bag because I actually keep this bar 
in a plastic bag, and I try not to touch it with my hand because I want to keep it pristine. Um, Hi Ho Silver did this for me. It's a bunker buster. He did it uh, custom prototype pour for me. So I'm trying to keep that thing pristine. And there you have it. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know how much that is. That's probably $700, 706 or, that's probably 600 ounces in silver. So you're gonna see now, and boy, is it heavy. Woo, that's a heavy one. So, you can see, look at now. Look how much of the table that one box cleared. What do you think about that? So see, don't believe the wives till. I do not have any Moroccan silver. I need to get some. I need to get some. Yeah, so don't believe that wives till, guys. Silver's too big to store. Is Mindo here? I got Mindo. I have Mindo mint. I just showed some off. So now, you guys, for these in the in the, um. Mint tubes, you just use these. So like watch. And that is a bunch of kookaburras. So this is kind of cool. I never show this, but you guys can see. It felt like more than 21 pounds, I'll tell you that much. It felt like a lot more, that was heavy. And here's some. Uh, koalas. Do you guys like seeing this? Is it kind of cool? Bunch of koalas. Sorry guys, I'm missing so many comments. But I would have had to end the stream to start doing this, so I'll catch comments and do this with you guys. I think most of you probably like that anyway. Silver Turtles is saying very cool. So you guys see it's... It's not bad to do full stack videos anymore because I don't take them out of the tubes. I used to take them out of every tube, tip them over. It looked way more epic, but that literally took forever. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't bring myself to do it anymore. I have PTSD from it. And this is why, too, I like to put a lot of coins and mint and coin capsules. Oh, the dolphins aren't going to fit. I like to put them in coin capsules because it just goes bloop, bloop. Uh, nice. Let's see what people are saying. If I start another monster box, well, I've started another monster box of ASCs. I'm trying to make that a good base of my stack because it's so liquid, but I don't know. Britannia's probably would be a good one, I think. I would say Britannia's. So now what you're gonna see, guys, is I'm gonna fill one of these monster boxes with these. So, push it in sideways. Push it in sideways, push it in sideways. So, I mean, you guys, this is like already in this is 100 ounces. So, even in the coin tubes, I mean, it's obviously bulkier, but it still is not that large of a footprint to what, you know, you'd expect from what people say. This, this. One second. Yep. 
You guys like this? Do you guys like seeing the pack up? I've never streamed a pack up before. That's a first. Yeah, enabler, I agree. Britannias are super sweet looking, for sure. For sure. Um, the Egyptian ones, the Egyptian God series from Provident, super sick, super sick. Uh, these are gonna be some of the um, Privateer series, really cool coins. Okay. Okay, okay. So now what I'll do in this monster box is I'll start putting some bars to fill in the gaps so these things don't roll around. So I'll take, actually I'll take some coins and rounds that are in just plastic flips. I haven't got them into coin carry yet and I'll put them in. And those will help things from rolling around. And it also gets some more ounces in the box, which is cool. These are a bunch of the half ounce Armenian Noah's Arcs I got on sale. That was pretty cool. Let's put some uh, salivate metal rounds in this box. It's a lot of fun. Goes on top. Okay, we can go ahead and close that box. You guys see they lock. So if you have boxes on top that will lock. So now let me show you guys and that monster box is not even that heavy. Just two of those monster boxes. Look how much of the stack is stored. Isn't that awesome? I don't know, maybe I get too excited about this stuff. Okay. Let's uh, throw some, uh, uh, I don't know the exact size in the box, but it is the RCM um, 10 ounce bar box. RCM 10 ounce bar box, so. That I found is the ultimate box. I actually learned that from Silver Slacker. So it's 200 ounce bars. So I'll put the 300 ounce bar in there. Then I'll put a couple kilos. And then we can put the 10 ounce bars over here on the side, like so. sideways with these. Actually, this one's going to be heavy, guys. This one is going to be heavy. There's another kilo. Oh yeah. I'm just feeling how heavy that is. Woo. So I'm gonna not overload this one, but I'm just gonna put some one ounce bars and stuff in here, just kind of to keep things from clanking. Really do not want to overload this one. This one felt really heavy. I may have overloaded it. Oh, put a few more in there. This 
We'll put that. We'll put these in here. Cool. That's the third box. You're about to see my whole stack fit in like six of these things. Another one. Hi-ho silver. I just packed up a bunch of your silver. Hi-ho silver in the house. Uh, Urban IZ in the house. BLK, Joe Cool, Miss Tiger, Ben OG, Pennies. Everyone's chilling. I am. I am packing this up. Tell the moon landing story. What are you guys talking about in the chat? What has been going on? That's funny. Late night full stack, sure is. You guys, I head to the airport in the morning. This is my last chance to film an updated full stack for you. So I actually have a nice video coming out that's gonna show it, but I also thought it'd be cool for you guys to interact live. So we did that for a little bit. And I'm showing you guys kind of uh, impromptu how I pack these things up. Okay. Looks like some people are following each other. That's nice, very nice. Jay, you're right, but you guys, if you're buying silver, especially really good deals on eBay, please make sure you're buying from reputable people and dealers. There's a lot of fakes and scams on there. I only trust reputable people, but if you can get good deals on eBay bucks, whoo! That's the way to do it. Wave by to the little Illuminati silver. Okay. Put these 91 coops in here. Put these bald nose dolphins in there. And then we got the Serti Lock papers for these. I mean, how long has this taken me to pack up, guys? I'm like, Probably more than halfway done. For sure, more than halfway done. 10 minutes. Extra storage in your safe, that's funny. Thank you for the offer, that's so nice. So nice. <laughs> you get me a labeler for my birthday? If you guys wanna know it's crazy, I literally remember what's in every box. Is that nuts? <laughs> Hi-ho is all about the labelers. I remember seeing your, a bunch of your videos of the labels. Hi-ho, I showed off that bunker buster you did for me earlier. That thing, whew. That thing is sweet. That's for sure. And there's the Scottsdale stackers, guys. Right into a tube. Put her right here. But was coin saying, was all the constitutional at the end? Oh yeah, it's right there. We're gonna go to there next. Do not panic. Now it's time, guys, for the little gold satchel. Certain all is gold. small pieces so this is super small gold that's two pesos and this is just a super small super small 
Mm -hmm. I don't even know something. So that's the gold, guys. It's going in there. Nice and snug. Oh, well, I guess I could fit those in here. Oh, I forgot we got some Queen's Beasts over here that can fit in there. See what people are saying in the chat. Will I trade walkers for random extra ones that I don't have? I don't know, man. I'm not really into trading. You guys, the big winner of the Mega Gauze in the chat, Julian Bullion. Fine bullion price is a gold spot deal? Huh. Well, that sounds intriguing. That sounds very intriguing. If I don't say so myself. Some generic silver rounds. Some more generic silver rounds here. More generic silver rounds. Okay. So that one's pretty much full. I'm not gonna overload that one too much. So now we're filling up this one. Got some caps. So that cap is obviously for that. No. Where in the world did I put the cap? Guys, I'm about to call it. I'm getting tired. So I got a little bit to go. Like I'm losing caps. I'm folding up bars. Silver. That one's actually going nicely on there. So let's call it a call that one full. So guys, so far I'm up to four. Most of my stack is in four of those. That's how that works. This, I'm gonna put all the British junk silver in. So all the British and the Irish and all that, I'll put them here. The shipwreck silver. Quiet on the set. Let's put that away here. Anyways, guys, I think uh, you saw enough of the packing up. I've I've got to get done with this, and I gotta hit the hay 
flying early. So you can see, so far my stack is in only four of those boxes. It's pretty much all done. The constitutional silver will all go into these respective canvas bags, and that will be in a monster box. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my first ever interactive full stack. If you guys could hit that like button on the way out, it helps my channel greatly. Thank you so much for joining me on my journey. And be ready for some epic live streams tomorrow on the way home or from home on the way back to the belly of the Middle East. In Saudi Arabia, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much. And I'll say it, and we can all say it together, and it's not nines. Catch you on the next one.